Hello everyone, my name is Chila Yona and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new here, then just welcome. Today I want to talk about a video that was shared on my timeline on Twitter. And it's about a Native man talking about the hypocrisy surrounding around Afro-Native heritage and how there are mixed white people or mestizos who are quick to pull out their ID card and brag about being indigenous. But yet, when it comes to quote unquote Afro-Native or Aboriginal people, they are quick to attack us and say, oh, we're not Aboriginal, we're African, we're Black, because they are too colorist and too shallow-minded to see that we also have Indigenous features. And for the record, I want people to understand and realize this before I even show the clip, because a lot of people fail to realize that Aboriginal people are diverse and we didn't get our Aboriginal features from the natives. The natives got their quote unquote Aboriginal features from us. So although that this native man is saying Afro natives have indigenous features, we didn't get our features from them. So people are confusing us and saying, oh, well, we come from them. No, no, no. We are our own group of people and there are natives that come from us. Right. And yes, sure, there are some Aboriginal people who are mixed with the natives, but nonetheless, Aboriginal people, we are our own people. So there are still full blooded Aboriginal people that exist. Y'all Africanize them. I've seen it with my own eyes. And even though this native man don't talk about full blooded Aboriginal people looking like black people, he does talk about how people try to Africanize or overtly Africanize afro native people because they are darker and have a coral type ancestry tree research is becoming increasingly popular but many people put their research at risk by only saving it on their computers if your computer breaks retrieving your research will be difficult if not impossible online memberships can be costly and forgetting your password can cause you to lose all your work and start over Preserve your research with our fillable family group sheets. Introducing School of Yona, our family tree organizer. Designed to help you safeguard your ancestry, our family tree organizer comes with personalized sheets that can list one couple, their parents, and up to 24 children and spouses. Entries provided for ancestors who are listed on the Indian rolls and slave schedules and also 40 two-sided sheets in all and much more. Share them at holiday gatherings or pass them down to future generations. The benefits are endless. The link to our organizer is in the description box below. Effectively preserve your ancestry today. But nevertheless, there are Choctaw triplets who are full-blooded and I talk about them all the time, right? I actually did a video talking about full-blooded Indians, and I want y'all to check it out. I'm going to have a card on the upper right corner. Click it after you watch this video because I gave out a lot of examples of full-blooded Indian people that look quote-unquote black. So again, full-blooded indigenous people still exist. Y'all just Africanized them. The Choctaw triplets actually have straight hair but because they have dark skin people still africanize them and call them black and i have seen the mixed white people and mestizos do this to aboriginal people and i'm glad that this native used that term mestizo so people know what exactly aboriginal people are facing because if y'all don't remember, I used to use the term mestizo religiously in my early days of YouTube. And I remember the natives used to get so mad at me for using that term because I'll be like, these are a bunch of mestizos on these reservations. And they'd be like, no, don't say that. You're attacking people who don't know their identity. And I'm like, well, why are you over here in our spaces trying to tell us about our identity then? You know, it's just a lot of hypocrisy surrounding around aboriginality. And I am happy that there are some natives 
out there talking about this because it needs to be addressed. And see, the thing is, there are Aboriginal people who are new to this. And if you are new to American Indian history, subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the notifications bell, all notifications, so you can get notified when I go live or when I upload a new video. Because I talk about racial classifications and the different phenotypes of Aboriginal people for a reason. Because people fail to realize that Aboriginal people, we are our own people. We have our own phenotype and we have our own genes. We don't need clout off the natives. We don't need their approval when it comes to our identity, obviously. Whether freedmen or by blood, our tribes owe us. And I also want to reiterate this as well. Just because there are Aboriginal people who are labeled as freedmen or freedmen descent does not mean that they don't have any indigenous blood. There are plenty of freedmen people who have indigenous blood. I am one of them. So again, you have to learn about American Indian history before you are quick to try and dismiss what we have going on. Because what people fail to realize is that there are a lot of black immigrants that have recently moved to the United States. And since they don't know our history, they think it's okay to try and Africanize each and everything we got going on over here. And one thing that we have learned is about the transatlantic slave trade, right? But according to Henry Louis Gates Jr., only 388,000 quote unquote Africans came to mainland North America. Most African slaves went to Brazil. So people argument that we are all African is thoroughly flawed. And this is why genealogy is important. This is why racial classifications are important. There's no way around it. All right. So again, um, this man in the video used a interesting terms of words and I want y'all to notice that I want y'all to really pay attention to that so this is all the commentary I have about the video I'm not going to come back and do later commentary let me know what y'all guys think in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thank y'all guys for watching now until the next time bye indigenous use this sound to show off your nose So the other day I was on a live with Laura and Roxy uh, here on TikTok. I'll go ahead and tag uh, them in the comments. Unfortunately, and Laura can better explain this in her videos, it was kind of cut short immediately. The intent was Laura, at least from what I understand, wanted to have more Afro-Indigenous people be spoken up for during Black History Month on our platform. A topic that Roxy had brought up was that it's funny how when it comes to mixed white people, mixed native and white people, that everyone talks about like how they look native to me and they always talk about their native features and stuff like this. But when it comes to Afro natives, for some reason, when they're mixed with black, you just can't see anything native about them. Like it just, you can't click in your head any kind of features that would qualify them as native whatsoever. And when she was talking about this, I thought about this creator, who I'm also going to tag, and I thought about this video specifically. Because looking at him, if you were to look at him objectively and look at his phenotype, he has native features. Like you're going to seriously sit there with your whole head ass and tell me that is not an indigenous nose. Those are not indigenous lips. Seriously? And I realize not everyone in the native communities like this, but especially when it comes to native TikTok and like a huge, the whole conversation, the Mali Wars and all those jokes, whatever. It's so funny how these conversations about validating you and phenotype and your racial purity and your blood quantum and all this stuff, whatever. It's so funny how so many times it's mestizos or people who would be qualified as mestizos who are so insistent on we look at their indigenous phenotype. We can see their indigenous features, that we're denying them their indigenous heritage, even though they look indigenous, whatever. But yet they will never acknowledge Afro indigenous people. If his skin was slightly lighter and he had bone straight hair, you wouldn't question for a second if he was indigenous. But because he's dark and because he has a strong curl type, you only see him as black and you can't see him as anything else. We need to understand 
the ideas that our colonial societies have of race and native